guys, so today I'm going to be doing my going to uni book haul. Is that a thing? I go back to uni on the 3rd of February, I think it is. I've done all my essays now, I didn't have any exams but I had four essays to do and they were they were easier than I thought but still a lot of hard work so I am happy that I've now got two weeks off I'm not gonna lie but I am excited to get back into it it's my final semester at university ever and that's quite terrifying but I'm not gonna think about it otherwise I'll just start crying on the floor I haven't got too many books to show you um, I am a creative writing student part-time as well as an English student so it seems like I have a lot less books than some other people that go to uni um, but it is just literally because I do creative writing as well as English and creative writing doesn't actually include a lot of books weirdly I have three books to show you from my contemporary class and four books to show you from my Language of the Vikings class. I'll start off with contemporary ones. This is a year-long module I already did. You know, Margaret Atwood, we did a Julian Barnes, we did a J.M. Coetzee novel, and an Ishiguru novel, and a Jonathan Coe novel as well. Um, so I have three more to do. The first one is The Line of Beauty by Alan Hollinghurst. I have no idea what this book's about. It sounds from the back like it's gonna be very political. I don't really take an interest in politics more than, you know, what normal people would take an interest in. So I don't know what this is going to be about. It's set in the 80s. Yeah, I don't really know. I guess with it being the 80s, it's all about Thatcher and stuff like that, I suppose. Who knows? I'll leave the book in the description so you can maybe go and check it out because I don't feel like I can say that much about this one because I don't know what it's about but it is very very pretty it has a really nice um, clean white cover and this really nice leaf cover so yeah it's, it's a nice book it looks good on my shelf I don't know how I'm gonna get on with it but um, yeah we shall see the next two books we actually have to read I have actually already read I already own them um, so that was very good it saves me reading again um, Room by Emma Donoghue is one of them and yeah I read this, uh, was it last year or the year before? I want to say last, I want to say last year but it feels like it was longer ago than that so maybe it was 2013, I'm not quite sure. Either way I read it and I loved it. I know this has cropped up quite a few times on booktube and it is about um, a young boy called Jack, he actually narrates the story and I think that's a really, one of the reasons I loved it so much is such a interesting and different choice of narrator. He lives in a room with his mum and they are kind of held captive by this man. The book is told through his eyes and he obviously sees the world very differently because he's just lived in this one room his whole life and I think this is going to be really intriguing to study and yeah we'll see what kind of themes crop up but yeah I'm really really excited about this. The final book um, that we have to read for contemporary fiction is The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime by Mark Haddon. This one I'm definitely going to have to reread because I read this in ooh, year 9 I think so I would have been about 13, 14 so yeah I definitely need to reread but I'm really really excited to reread it. It was also at the theatre near where I live recently and like a fool I didn't go and see it. Um, good university students may have gone to see it but I didn't so I am an idiot but whatever. This again is told from a very different um, narrative point of view. It's told from the voice of a an autistic boy and that is something that's very different and it's used fantastically in this novel. Um, I think the author did a really great job. Then I'm doing a topic called Language of the Vikings which looks at Norse mythology and I'm super excited to do this. I did The Age of Chivalry and Romance last year and that was all about Robin Hood and Lancelot and Merlin, all that kind of stuff and I loved that and it was the module that I got the best marks in so I'm, I'm quite hopeful for this one. Um, even though they're completely different. The first book is The Poetic Edda and this is an Oxford World Classics edition. We didn't actually get to choose them this time around, um, which I, I don't know, I like choosing my own books and choosing my own covers and stuff, but when it comes to translation you can't really argue with what, what you're recommended. I don't really know what to say about these because I don't really know what they are, but I am in, very very intrigued um, from the back of the book it sounds fantastic it says it starts with the creation of the world 
and looks forward to its uh, destruction and rebirth. It then goes to look at mythological and heroic poetry, gods and humans, um, as well as Odin, Thor, Loki, Helgi, Helgi, Sigurd, the Dragon Slayer, all these cool things that sound absolutely awesome and I can't wait to read this. Another one we have to read is the Saga of Volsungs and again, couldn't really tell you what it is about. Um, it sounds quite similar to be honest. It also has these really nice maps in it as well. Um, which are dotted throughout as well as um, like family timelines and stuff like that um, So yeah, I'm really intrigued. It's very thin so hopefully it won't take me too long to read and the final two books are Edda by Snorri Stalson. That's a strange name. I think this is a bit different to the other two in that it doesn't really look at like mythology and stories. It's much more realistic. It's set in Iceland and it goes back to traditional Viking poetry. It looks at the King of Norway and apparently he was killed in his own cellar in Iceland in 1241. So, there you are. I think it does have some kind of mythological, uh, I think it does have some kind of mythological stories in there too, but I think it is also about kind of politics. I don't know what edition this is. Oh, it's translated and introduced by Anthony Folks. Um, I was told that was the best edition, so if any of you are out there looking for a edition of Edda, then this is the one to go with. It's got a guy on the front who is on a horse. So there you are. And the final book is the three Icelandic outlaw sagas, the saga of... By the way, I'm so sorry if I'm like killing these names. I'm sure they're said in a really nice way, but I don't know how you say them, so I apologise. The Saga of Gisli, the Saga of Grettir, and the Saga of Hord. And yeah, again, more Viking poetry, but I am excited. I believe that it was these kind of stories that um, actually inspired, um, what's his name? Tolkien to write Lord of the Rings. I'm not a massive Lord of the Rings fan, but it's gotta be good if it made him create that whole world and all those characters. I am hoping to be impressed by this, definitely. So those are the books that I'm reading this semester. Um, considering that it, I start in February and I finish in April, I think that's enough books to read, to be honest. Please let me know if you've read any of these books or what you guys are reading in for university. And as ever, thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.